Okay, let's do a really quick primer on heterozygous versus homozygous. A couple things to know. Hetero meaning different. You're probably familiar with the term heterosexual. Uh, homo meaning the same. Probably also familiar with the similar term homosexual. Heterosexual is someone who is attracted to the different gender. Homosexual is someone who is attracted to same. Homo, same. Hetero, different. So this right here, you can see these are two uh, homozygous chromosomes. You can see they are the same. These are heterozygous. These have different ones on there. One red, one blue. Let's go through it. All right, heterozygous. Remember, hetero means different. All of these are going to be uh, different here. This is when you have both the dominant, this one right here, and recessive, the lowercase one here. So this is heterozygous. Alleles are different from each other. So examples of this, big B, little b, big A, little a, big Z, little z, big Y, little y, big M, little m. Typically, you're always going to write the uppercase one first, but the important part is that they are different. By the way, big B and little b and little b and big b are the same thing here. It doesn't really matter. All right, let's look at homozygous. Homo meaning the same. These are ones that have only the dominant or only the recessive alleles. So these are all examples of homozygous dominant. Both alleles are identical dominants. Big B, big B, big A, big A, big Z, big Z, big Y, big Y. This one right here is big P, big P. Homozygous recessive is going to be the same. They're the, they are identical, but in this case, they are the recessive ones. Little B, little B, little A, little A, little Z, little Z, little Y, little Y. These are homozygous recessive. These are homozygous dominant. All right, let's look at some examples here. Peas. In garden peas, the allele for yellow, big Y, is dominant to the allele for green, little y. So the genotype for homozygous dominant, homo meaning the same, dominant would be capital letter. In this case, it would be big Y, big Y. Whereas the genotype for homozygous recessive in this case here, have to be the same, but in this case it would be recessive, so that would be little y, little y. The genotype for heterozygous, remember that's one big, one little, that would be big Y, little Y, or little Y, big Y, but we usually write it with the capital letter coming first, in that case right there. All right, let's look at some examples in fruit flies. In fruit flies, the allele for white eyes, lowercase r, is recessive to the allele for red eyes. So red is dominant, white is recessive. The genotype for homozygous dominant, so homo, meaning the same, dominant would be big R, that would be big R, big R. So one of those red eye ones right here could be big R, big R. It could also be heterozygous. Remember hetero meaning different, that could be big R, little r, one of each. Genotype for homozygous recessive, in this case right here, the recessive one is the little r, and with homozygous they'd have to be the same, that's going to be little r, little r. All right, in cats, the allele for yellow eyes, big E, is dominant to the allele for blue eyes. Look, I'm just making these up. Please don't be like, oh, I trust my two cats. And it's, just, it's just an example here. So yellow is dominant to blue. So the genotype for heterozygous, hetero, meaning different, would be one of each, big E, little e. The genotype for homozygous recessive, remember homo meaning the same, recessive being little e, that would be little e, little e, same of that one there. And the genotype for homozygous dominant, homo meaning the same, two of these guys right here, big E, big E. Vampires, no, they're not real. It's just an example. And Twilight's a terrible book. Sorry. In vampires, the allele for long things, big F, is dominant to the allele for short things, little f. So, homozygous dominant, Homo meaning the same would be two big Fs there. Big F, big F. Genotype for homozygous recessive, remember same, but now the recessive one would be two of these guys here, big, or sorry, little F, little F. And the genotype for a heterozygous vampire, one of each, would be big F, little F. Werewolves, again, not real. In werewolves, the allele for long hair, little h, is recessive to the allele for short hair, big H. So short hair is dominant to long hair. I know you always think, like, oh, this one's the bigger. No, no, no. Read carefully. Short hair, dominant. So genotype for homozygous dominant hair, in that case right here, would be big H, big H, two dominant alleles. Heterozygous, one of each. Big H, little h, two, they have to be different. And genotype for homozygous recessive would be two of these guys right here, little h, little h. All right, so if we looked at our cross here between a heterozygous parent 
in a homozygous recessive, these two here are hetero, hetero, and this is homozygous recessive, homozygous recessive. Heterozygotes, just a little uneven. Uh, uh, uh. I'm done.